This man heads up this gang. Together, they are called Sodexo and they are making a killing. They say by providing quality of life services, but the truth is they are exploiting migrant workers. Sodexo is a corporate giant that operates all over the world. In the UK, they provide NHS trusts with cleaners, catering staff and porters. Every year, these workers help the Sodexo gang make huge profits. And every year, Sodexo shower themselves with annual bonuses and director's fees to the tune of hundreds of thousands to millions of pounds. When the Sodexo came, they promised us a lot of things and after six months, they cut it everything. This company when it's coming, it gives only like two trousers yeah. for the last five years. How we can use? Oh, no. If you wear it today, these are hospital, you go yeah. different wards. Yeah. Tomorrow you come again with the same uniform, you go uh, uh, somewhere else. That's, that's infection everywhere. Some people, they pay them higher than us. Higher than us? Yeah. And it's not fair. Yeah, and it's not fair. We are doing the same thing. We are doing. They, do, they just pay £7.21. So I did overtime, which is six hours. They never pay. They don't pay me. You have to do two people jobs, some of us. Nobody's had vaccinations, correct? No. Me for the past 10 years, when they eat money. When I'm from Sodexo, nobody has. The reality is that for the past four years, Sodexo has treated their workforce like dirt. They don't pay double, only additional 20 pounds sometimes. Okay. Yeah, it's bank holiday. Okay. But you have to pay the transport. 30 pounds. 30 pounds? Yeah. To get to the hospital for Christmas Day? Yeah. But cleaners and porters at St Mary's Hospital in London have had enough. We are not the dirty They are demanding equality, respect and dignity at work. Don't stand by and let Sodexo exploit their workforce. Support the workers that ensure our hospitals run smoothly and are clean and infection free. Stand with the cleaners and porters at St Mary's. They are the backbone of our NHS and deserve respect and dignity.